Yo, what's going on guys? It's Abs here and welcome back to another Gears of War 10 Facts video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 facts of the Locust Theron Guard. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all Gears of War content. Thought I'd bring you guys the Theron Guard today as it was just announced yesterday as part of Operation 3. And I might just go for a 1 Cog and 1 Locust format. So last time I did Clayton Carmine, this time I'll do Theron Guard and next time we'll do another Cog character. So let's begin. So fact number one, they are elite locust troops assigned to commando style raids against high profile targets and high level defensive missions that require the sort of precision that Therons possess and can handle. Fact number two, as elites, Therons are more powerful, intelligent, accurate with their weapons and better armoured than their contemporaries and they are invariably better armed as well, making them a significantly greater threat than the lesser ranked locust troops. Fact number 3, Theron armour is laced with bright red flecks, presumably to give them a more imposing appearance. Fact number 4, their voices are sibilant and with a definitive whispering hiss, giving them a distinctly menacing presence. Though it is more intimidating, the hissing and whispering can be a big giveaway to the opponent of your position. Yes, That's my best impersonation. <laughs> Fact number 5, most Therons use the torque bow as their weapon of choice. Because of this they are a deadly threat capable of instantly killing an unprepared gear from a considerable distance. So the last 5 facts I'm going to be talking about Theron variants. So fact number 6, Therons usually operate in small squads led by a Theron sentinel that serves as a sergeant, though this is not always the case. Fact number 7, Palace Guards were a new class of Theron Guard introduced in Gears of War 2 where they were described as a crazy, mental, much more badass Theron. They were ornate helmets and a brighter, more intense variant of the traditional Theron armour making them highly visible but highly deadly. Fact number 8, in Gears of War 3 a new variant, the Theron Elite, made its debut. Its armour, with the helmet being the exception, is identical to the standard Theron armour. Its helmet is similar to a beak in shape. These Therons work alongside the palace guards as the queen's personal bodyguards. Fact number 9, Cleaver Therons were encountered during the destruction of Halvor Bay. They are armed with a butcher cleaver and charge into the battle and attempt to cut gears to pieces without hesitation. They run right past cover and don't stop until they are on top of you, swinging away with their heavy blades. And fact number 10, the last subclass is the Savage Theron, which were originally just regular Theron guards that appeared after the hollow was flooded and the Locust Horde began falling apart. They are nearly identical to the original Theron guards, except for the colour of their armour which is nearly bleached white and garnished with red lights. They also used different weapons most of the time. For example, most Savage Therons use a Butcher Cleaver or Sword of Shotgun rather than their iconic Talk bow. So there you have it guys, that's 10 quick facts of the Theron Guards. So if you did find this video informative and if you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and comment down below what you think of the Theron Guard itself. Are you a big fan of the Theron Guard? I know I am. And be sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Hope you guys have a nice day and I'll catch you guys on the next one.